Hey there, welcome to today's class. Today's practice is focused all on your hips, your hip flexors, if you have tight hips, this is the perfect practice to follow. And it is totally accessible to all the beginners who are just starting their journey of yoga and wants a little um, relaxation in their hip flexors. So you see so many poses on Instagram, on YouTube, some extravagant postures and asanas and that makes you think that will break my body and this is not the feeling that I want to give you today. I just want to make you um, understand that it is not only about practicing difficult postures to obtain a good hip opening but easy posture in a consistency can also make you feel relaxation in your hip flexor, in your pelvic muscles and in your spine. So today's class is totally beginner friendly but if you're an intermediate or an advanced practitioner you're gonna love this class and do it. So let's just straight away dive into it. Let's just sit tall um, placing our hips on the mat adjusting our hips. You can keep a blanket under your hips to give that extra lift also you can use blocks or pillows under your knees I, I'll quickly demonstrate how it will look like there you go this is how you're gonna place blocks under your knees if your knees are hurting or you can keep pillows but ensure that your stance is comfortable you're sitting comfortably I want you to close your eyes here and take a moment and realize that this practice is something that you're going to give to your body and it will not be a forceful practice. You know, so many times we just force our body to go beyond the limits and injure ourselves. So I want you to take here a moment and uh, realize that this will be a practice which is guided by your body and not your mind. So I want you to sit here tall. And start with cobbler circles just make circles starting from the right side inhale as you go back exhale and as you come in front inhale let's should do it for a few more times inhale and exhale you can draw circles as per your convenience and let's just reverse inhale and exhale bend forward inhale back and exhale forward if you close your eyes your practice will be improved 10 times <laughs> that's what i have experienced so let's just close our eyes and just flow with the practice now if you want, if you want to deepen your stretch, just walk your hands forward and try to bend down. Try to touch your nose with your foot or your forehead with your mat, wherever your practice, wherever your hip opening is, um, you can just follow that. Just stay there for some time. Be conscious of your breath. Don't forget to breathe. All right, then come back. And from here, let's just go on all fours. And I want to give you some freedom here of moving your hips in whatever direction you want to. Just uh, checking wherever the tightness is. Maybe you can sway your hips front and back. Or you can just sit on your heels and then just you know uh, walk in and out multiple times just see where the tightness is go according to your practice go according to your comfort but try to find those sweet tight spots that's our motive to do this just sway in front and back maybe try to sit just flow let your body flow wherever you want to oh i can see the tightness i can feel the spots the tight spots in my body while i do this
all right now we will lift our right leg up and draw circles from here big circles let your knee guide the circles draw one more circle and lift our right leg up and then bend towards left side and gaze towards your toes if your neck allows just try to look towards your shoulder your left shoulder let's just come back from the stance first and draw the circles from left side as well Our back pain is uh, majorly caused by tight hip flexor so that is why we are also focusing on stretching our back let's just raise our left leg back and bring it towards the right side and look towards the right toe if your neck allows look towards the right shoulder just see which level are you in don't rush things with your body all right then let's just come back and from here let's just do yoga squat or malasan so we will take help of our block if you are unable to sit on your feet you can take block or books or pillow whatever is available uh, with you i'm going to show you how you're going to sit place the block on the mat open your legs wide and just scoop down this is how a uh, yoga squat will look like ensure your back is straight and you're not bending too much forward adjust your block join your hands in front of your chest and let your elbows open the knees and let me just show you from the front that will give you a clear view join your palms and try to push your knees outwards this is an excellent stretch for your hips and it is recommended to do daily to deepen the stretch let's just walk our hands forward and stay there for some time if you have any digestive issues if your metabolism is weak or you're feeling acidity or you have constipation this is an excellent pose for all those problems so it is recommended to do daily i encourage you to imbibe this in your life when you wake up in the morning just sit like this for a few minutes and let's just come back and let's just stand Whoop, what a stretch on the legs i can feel it now let's just come in downward dog position this is our first downward dog so you can take some time maybe paddle your feet and stretch your legs raise your right leg up and bend from the knee you can bring a bend on the left knee as well if you are unable to straighten your knee let's just stay here for some time and then now bring it in front in between your hands and now let's just rise up to warrior two veer bhadra asan two i want you to square your hips here i want you to check if your knee is in a proper alignment and it is directly over the heel you can bring uh, or you can push the knee a little backwards if it is coming in front and I want you to gaze towards the middle finger of your front hand of your right hand 
this is a very strong pose let's just stay here try to tighten your core your hips let's just straighten your leg and twist your foot in front and bend forward let your head rest and go towards the mat you can bring a bend in your elbow and try to stretch yourself down you can take help of a block as well and keep under your forehead if this is becoming too intensive for you just see what works for your body Let's just stay here for some more breaths. All right, then let's just go towards front and back to downward dog. Raise your left leg up, bend to the knee, stay here for some time. Stay in the moment, watch your breath. This is a challenging pose, three-legged dog. Now bring your left leg in front, in between your hands and rise up to warrior two, Veer Bhadravasan. Square your hips in front, push your knee back if required, if it's coming in front. Let's just stay here. Gaze towards your middle finger. I want you to feel that your right arm is being stretched from the right side and your left arm is being stretched from the left side. It should be that strong. The pose should be that strong. That's why it's called warrior pose. You just don't have to be inactive in this pose. You have to be very, very active and now let's just straighten our leg twist our foot in front and go into wide legged fold let's just bend forward from hips let's stay there for some time you can try to push yourself down take a help of block keep under your forehead like i just did Whatever is comfortable to you. Let's stay here for some more breaths. You can bring a bend in the knee as well. Don't strain your knees. Let's just rise up. Let's lie down on our backs now. And uh, we will do eye needle pose. Now put your right foot on the left knee. And raise your left leg towards your chest. And I want you to hold your left shin from inside you can also hold your thigh if this is getting too much for you just see where you are comfortable i would highly encourage you to close your eyes and just try to feel the stretch that you are experiencing right now let me just remind you that everybody is unique you might not be able to lift your left leg too much and bring it towards the chest as I am doing. It's totally fine. We all are in our own path and we started somewhere there only where it was difficult for us to lift our leg. So I don't want you to feel too overwhelmed. 
but I really want you to listen to your body and do not stretch beyond your limits. Let's just relax and do this from the other side. Lift your left leg and put on your right knee and hold your right knee and bring it towards the chest. I want you to stay here for some time. And witness the sensation that is happening in your hamstrings, in your hips, in your calves. This is an excellent stretch if you have a shatika pain. I highly encourage you to practice this every day if you are suffering from shatika pain. It has shown marvelous result. I myself have experienced and have got rid of the problem. All right, let's just release our legs and head over to Sukhbalak Asana or Recline Cobbler Pose. Join your feet and open your knees outwards. You can keep a pillow uh, beneath your knees if you're not able to open the knees and the position is not comfortable. This is going to be our Shavasana for today's practice. So we're going to lie down here for some moments so i want you to feel comfortable you can adjust your feet bring towards your groin area uh, that will increase your stretch but if you don't want to feel that way you can bring your feet towards the short edge of your mat you, will, you can open your legs outwards so just go according to your own body place one hand on your belly and one on your heart watch your breath just watch how your belly is rising up and down When you realize that your stomach is moving up and down on its own, you have a very deep awakening. And I want you to feel that when you are in this posture. I want you to feel the sensations that might be there on your hip area after your practice. Just thank your body. Be grateful for a healthy body. That's all from my side. I'll meet you in the next class. I hope today's practice gave you a relief in your hips. The light in me honors the light in you, my friend. Namaste.